in better solutions news. Yeah. Nobody got better solutions, y'all are suddenly. Oh, I thought you were gonna say something. <laughs> Me too, I thought, I didn't know you were finished. I have plenty, I have plenty of solutions. Interesting, okay, okay. Submitted by Hot Cold Brew. Oh. Yeah. What? Isn't that just cold coffee? Brew. Yeah. They take cold brew and they boil it, maybe. Is cold brew made differently? Yes, it is. Yes, it's brewed cold. You, uh, it's steeped. Yeah, it's steeped for like 24 hours. There's a difference in taste. Completely different. So it's less, it's less accurate, it's not as bitter. So that's why people like cold brew, uh, compared to regular coffee. Yeah, it tastes smoother. Mm. Interesting. Bill Gates brought a jar of human poop on yes. stage during a speech cool. about reinventing the toilet. <laughs> when you're rich, I feel like you just do weird shit. I wonder if it's his own shit. It is his own shit. Cool! It it's a billion dollar coop poo poo. This fool's like, I'm gonna outdo Steve Jobs. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> So, what did you read about it? Because it was for the toilets, like so that it's for sanitation. Like there's, uh, he's pushing for better sanitation around the world. Yeah. So that's that was his point. So his point and is donating poop in jars now. No, I mean, I don't remember. I don't. I don't remember reading why he he brought his poop on stage, but yeah. he's donating to that. Okay, this is gonna sound really stupid. Are we talking about like better toilets, like tech-wise, or like better sanitation, like better it's toilets for water. everyone? It's probably like Not better like plumbing and oh. everything. I thought well, you meant like high-tech toilet. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it is, like, okay. everyone's right. Cause it's, um, it's, he's talking about how there is 525,000 children under the age of five that die every year because of bad sanitation. Oh, I didn't and know. it contributes to malnutrition and spread of disease. I bet you most of that is like India or something. Poorer countries yeah. that they don't really have like an entire, you know, sanitation or sewer system. And so he's been investing a lot into trying to create like a better toilet or a better sanitation system where these kids don't have to die because of this or have malnutrition and stuff. And so that's when he went on stage and he referred to it as a little exhibit and he like showed his glass. Ooh, I don't understand why. Huh? That looks like peanut butter. Yo, he needs to get I his shit checked. Why. Yeah, I feel like he needs to address other health concerns before sick. That's like some nasty poop. How come there's no wrinkles in his boot, Dookie? It's because it was like processed yeah. and shit, like and shit. That is just nasty. Huh. Wait, it's <laughs> Well, because he's talking about the new sanitation yeah. systems yeah. and stuff. And so um, it was to make a point because around the world there aren't proper sanitation or sewage, sewage systems. And I know, sewage. It's tight. And so um, there's just a lot of unsanitary human waste sitting around the world. Mm. There's kids that go out and play and they'll be yep. exposed to this all the time. And um, there also, there's also a link between like bad sanitation, disease, death, and malnutrition, like I mentioned. And so he's just trying to fix this problem in the world. And so uh, I'm gonna show you a video of one of the toilets that people have invented using the funds that he's given. When I was a kid, I used to hate it when poop used to trick me. What? You guys ever been tricked by poop? Like peekaboo and then goes back in? No, like you're playing in like a sand, like a playground sand. Oh yeah. And then so you always like, like if you dig at the bottom, it's like, it gets muddier, right? Yeah. So you can make little sand balls. And then sometimes I'll see like a round thing covered in uh, sand, I'm like, oh, pre-made sand ball, perfect. I grab it and I squeeze it and it was just fucking dookie covered yep. in sand. I'm like, fuck, nah. now I got dookie it's all like in my head. Cat shit, human shit, whatever. It's... I have never ever done that in my life. Really? You don't make mud balls? No, I have never ever ever. You guys never that. went and grabbed, like played in the sandbox and then it like fucking yeah. cat shit or something oh, no, came no, out? Yeah, and you're like, oh cool, shit. there's a pre-made one no right shit. here. Shit. I got no shit. <laughs> you guys probably did not play. Like a public sand. sandbox? Yeah, like at the park or at the school or whatever. No, I would find quarters and like toys. I find cool yeah, shit. Yeah, that too. Did you guys ever try to make super soft sand? Yeah. How do you do that? What's your, what's your method? Uh, so you dig all the way to the bottom where there, it's like clay, like wet um, mud, and yeah. then you just put water in your mouth from the water fountain, and you bring it, and then you spit it so that it's super muddy. Well, that's interesting. You guys are fucking nasty ass human beings, man. You know what I would do? What? I would get a fucking bottle of water and I just put it right in. When you're a little ass kid, there, I mean, and we grew up before bottled water was a thing. 
Because remember in our, oh, yeah. like bottled water was not a thing. Oh, that's right. That's true. It's, yeah, it's a new thing actually. Yeah, because we, I remember talking shit about bottled water. Bottled water is waste. Mm -hmm. Like you only had gallons. It was yeah. like family size. People would deliver yeah. water and then they put the water yeah. thing, yeah, like, and then you would. Like this yeah, convenience to go like personal like, size thing, it's a new thing. So we didn't have, like we didn't have any of that. And yeah. it's like after Dang. school. Maybe it's because the playground that I played at was in my grandma's apartment. So I could just go to her apartment oh, and get yeah. stuff. Well, no, it wasn't like that okay. for us. No, the sandbox was a very dramatic place for me. Traumatic. I what used to pretend. Fuck? What happened to you, man? That should, <laughs> your show should be called What Happened to Me. I haven't really. <laughs> because you have always tragic stories about everything, yeah. dude. I feel like I don't really have much luck in life. You and I should be best friends. <laughs> <laughs> so, essentially, when growing up in elementary school, I used to get bullied because I was chubby. They nicknamed me Punky. Yeah, it, Pumpkin. That's a whole different story. That's so cute. It's not cute. Like, I'm the carriage. They're all princesses. You know what they used to call me in elementary school? Faggot. So, so. All right, I'll stick with pumpkin. Yeah, I'd rather be called <laughs> yeah. pumpkin any day. Yeah. 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 Is it? Yeah. And then they used to like do these like physical activities during recess, and then every time I tried to join them, I couldn't keep up because I was pumpkin-y. And so then they would make fun of me, so then I would do this routine of I would sit in the sandbox, and then they'd be like, oh, come on, Stephanie, let's go. And they, I felt like they were doing it like maliciously, like, let's go make fun of you. So then I would say, this is quicksand, and my foot is stuck, so I can't leave. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> You're like, I can't. I in the can't. quicksand. But it was like regular sand and everybody knew that. But like, I was like, it's quicksand, guys. And they're like, God, this kid, this pumpkin's weird. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Your sad stories don't uh -huh. make me sad. They make it's me happy. It's so sad. Your sad stories makes me not want to be friends with you. No, and then listen. <laughs> at the end of recess, you know how like the teacher calls your name? Like I would sit there and dramatically, no one's even fucking looking. I would like grab my leg and do this shit to be like, you know, act like it's like. play out the line. Yeah, I gotta play the line. So I'm like, oh, oh, you should have left your shoe behind and then yeah. now you're like. Dude, I just picture your Holy teacher like, God, this kid is so fucking dramatic, man. God <laughs> damn it. Somebody take this fucking kid away. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's dope. Great but I never found like shit in there because it's like a school sandbox. I found it. <laughs> I found shit all the maybe time. You were, dude. Maybe we did find it, but we knew what it was, so we weren't. We didn't touch it. Like, oh, we were just like, I think that's shit. I'm gonna go play over here. I think that's what we did. No, but one time I saw so like, okay, so like no. sometimes you find these dookie covered sand things, right? And then like each like one time I'll grab it and it's like smeared all over me. I'm like, fuck, there's shit. So another time I'll see it and then I'll be like, fuck, he's gonna try to trick me, and I'll grab it and I'll like. Smell it, and I'm like, oh, fuck, thank God. It, it's fucking too, because I throw it away. But there's one other time, I don't know how this happened, I grabbed it, and I smelled it, and it was the best smelling thing ever. It was like a kumquat lemon thing, so somehow it got wet, and it got covered in sand. So, not all the times when you see a sand ball as a dookie. It's not yeah. somehow. That's really motivational, thank you. <laughs> so you can't you can't judge yeah. all of us. Yeah. So as a child, your journey in life was to once again yeah. find that scent. Yeah. <laughs> and so you just kept grabbing, is this it? Nope, dookie. <laughs> okay, nope, oh, poop again. Oh, poop. You can't stop trying because what if the next one is you lemon? You can't judge all yeah. the sand things the same. Some of them are dookie, some of them are dirt, some of them is a kumquat and covered in sand. But all the probability that, is really low. All that has <laughs> sand around it isn't shit. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You can't judge them all. You say that you wouldn't want to be her friends. You guys would have been best friends, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not judging this. I would have been there playing and I would have looked at her like, what the fuck? This ain't quick sandy crazy ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Bart like fucking, fucking digging and looking for shit. Oh, that's Dookie. I'm the weird one. And he's like, girl, this girl crazy. Smelling it first and then first. He's like, oh, <laughs> that girl's fucking crazy, man. What the fuck? I just remember watching kids on the fucking monkey bars and swinging and shit. But then I was so fat, it'd be too tiring. So I just go, one, all right, boom. <laughs> I'm like, we're done. We're done with this game. This game is stupid. I know, kids these days have that slider thing. It's so fun. Oh, they got all the new toys? Yeah. Anyway, we're talking about toilets here. So the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation started the Reinvent the Toilet Challenge back in 2011. What? And it funded $200 million in grants for universities around the world to develop the next generation toilet. And so they're trying they're trying to develop a waste processing system that doesn't need to be hooked up to a typical sanitation and sewer grid. And so uh, here we go. This is a uh, one of them. This is from the UK. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's a self-processing toilet? Yeah, so it's closing the lid and as it closes it. The Charlie Brown music. Yeah. Here, the Peanuts characters. Oh, I liked it, I liked it. That's dope. <laughs> yeah, and so all this shit goes down and then it gets Whoa. grinded up and incinerated. Well, you can't put toilet paper in there, can you? Like ash. That's crazy. You can, I think it's water, right? It falls into water. Uh, I think it does. Oh, that's just more chores for you as a kid. Hey, did you fucking empty out the dookie canister? Ah, oh, fine. If it incinerates it, there's gonna be shit smoke, though. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be smoky somewhere. Yeah, and then it filters out the water, so then you can... You drink it? No, not not to drink. It's not clean enough to drink, but you can, like, water plants or reflush what? it or something. What? That's great. Damn, that's like insane. That. This is, like, one of them. Damn, so many smart people in this world. Yeah, I'm not contributing to that at all, dude. I just yeah. feel so shitty, because we just had this conversation about... And then just quicksand and then people are changing the world. We're contributing to people's longer lives because we make them laugh and smile. Or they make themselves, we're the ego booster, they make themselves uh, feel uh, smarter because we're so stupid. I feel so weird when some of these kids that we go to, like these college shows, like it'll be like an Ivy League college and like, I look up to you. I'm like, what are you doing, bro? Don't fucking watch my head. <laughs> you go to fucking Princeton, dude. Same, you have a future. Same. Yeah. <laughs> I've learned so much stuff from you. How? <laughs> How? They learned what not to do with yeah. life. That's actually very helpful. Oh, Oh yeah, that's right. I can't be like this fucking idiot. Yeah. This guy thought he was skinny for 30 years. Stupid. <laughs>